So yeah, we got another beer review here, and this was given to me by my cousin, actually. My cousin Brendan, shout out to you, thank you very much. I have some other beers that he gave me from this brewery that we're gonna dig into, but we're, we're gonna start with this one. This is from Mighty Squirrel Brewing Company, and it's double cloud candy. It's a double dry hot, double New England IPA. Checking in at 7.8%. So it says that this is juiced up with big notes of mango, citrus, peach, melon, and papaya with a luscious, smooth uh, finish. So yeah, this is a pretty cool gift that he gave me because I've, I've never had a beer from this brewery before and uh, they're, they're located out of Massachusetts, Waltham, Massachusetts. So yeah, let's give this thing a pour. Looks good. Ooh, smells really good. Yeah, definitely getting definitely getting a mango smell out of this. Smells like it's got a good hoppiness to it too. All right, let's go in for the sip. Oh my God, that is good. Oh, mango, citrus, definitely getting the fruity flavors. It's got a hoppiness level to it too, but right now, I'm very, very citrusy, very, very juicy, with a with a nice smooth finish. A little bit of a bitterness to it, but not not much, not a lot of bitterness to it. Very well carbonated, and this is not disappointing at all. It says it's a New England IPA. Um, it does have a little bit of a clean finish to it. It's not super, super, super hazy. Um, it's probably really hard for you to tell, but I can see my fingers on the opposite side of this glass. So it's not like a cloudy IPA at all. There's definitely like an unfiltered aspect to this beer. It's, it's probably unfiltered, but it's just, it's got a clean look to it. There are some residues floating around in this beer, maybe some yeast or hop residues, maybe even some pulp from the fruit, not exactly sure. But there are some things floating in this beer. But for the most part, this has got a pretty clean look to it for a New England IPA. But it tastes like an it tastes like a New England IPA. This is really good. Thank you, Brendan, to my cousin, fucking legend. I, I'm probably what I want to do is I want to have him come through and do one of these reviews with me. Um, so I think I think we're gonna plan something out like that. I'm gonna reach out to him. Once I get back from Tennessee, I'm going to Tennessee in a couple weeks, which is like mid-August. So um, when, when I get back, I'm gonna reach out to him. I got two more beers that he sent me from this brewery. Maybe we'll do an episode together. That'd be really dope. I'm gonna reach out to him, see if I can get him on here because I, I'd, love to, I'd love to share one of these beers that he gave me. It was just really nice of him to do that. Now we're gonna really take a look to see if this beer is really unfiltered or not. I got some left in the can here. This is usually where the hop residues and stuff come through. So let's give it a little shake. Not a shake, but like a little bit of a stir. And then we'll dump it in. My guess is it's going to, yeah. Oh my God, a lot came out. You can definitely see that it's got stuff at the bottom of that glass. And it's definitely a little bit more hazy now. I might've waited a little too long to do that stir, but it didn't really change the, uh, the taste of the beer all that much. Is on the can it says, we'd love to hear from you, team at MightySquirrel.com. Well, you're hearing from me on Connecticut Vlog, so if you see this video, Mighty Squirrel, uh, maybe we could do a brewery visit, you know? Hit me up, let me know. Maybe I can get there and I can come take a look at the place and see what we have to offer. That'd be pretty dope. I don't think I have a Massachusetts brewery on my channel yet, so you could be the first one. A lot of people get freaked out. Um, you know, someone maybe getting into craft beer for the first time or having their New England IPA for the first time, they get freaked out when they see that stuff at the bottom of the glass, not really knowing what it is. Completely harmless. Um, it's not bad for you. And it doesn't really, if you, if you just put it with the last sip of your beer, you're not gonna really taste anything. It doesn't have like a taste or anything. It's completely harmless. I swallowed all, I, okay, that sounded bad. That's scratch what I just said. I'll drink all of this um, and kind of just swish it around here and just down the hatch. Like I said, no bad taste, 
you don't really feel anything. Um, and it's, 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 it's not bad for you. You can totally drink it. But I think it just freaks people out. But yeah, that's it guys. This was the beer. Excellent beer. Uh, thank you Brendan again for sending me this, uh, giving me this as a gift for my YouTube channel. He's been following me ever since I started my YouTube channel, so he's been really supportive. A lot of my family and friends have been pretty supportive through through all this, and, and I appreciate that. So, so like I said, thank you very much for this. It, it really uh, it's, it's cool, you know, especially that I have not had a beer from this brewery before, so that's awesome. So let's get into the ratings. Um, well, on Connecticut Vlogs rating, uh, one through 10, definitely good flavor. It was very citrusy up front, and then it became very hoppy towards the end, but you know, doing that little can shake and getting all the residues at the bottom. I'm thinking that those were mostly uh, yeast and, and hop residues and that, that's gonna make a, a, a bitter taste and I was kind of getting that. So that's not really a bad thing. You know, if you want a little bit more of a citrusy taste to this beer, leave a little in the can and don't pour the rest in. You're gonna get more of a, um, I, I think it was more well balanced then. I think when I stirred it up and it, it, a little bit bitterness to it and not as citrusy and juicy, but that's not the that's not the beer's fault. That's just how New England IPAs are. You know, they're they're very unfiltered. So no, this is a, a really good beer. I would definitely get it again. Um, yeah, I would probably rate this a. I'll probably just give this a solid eight. You know, a solid eight on Connecticut Vlogs. And for my Untapped, I'm gonna give it a 3.75. Um, I don't think it's quite in the in the four category, but it's still a very good beer, and I would recommend anybody to go and try it. So yeah, um, that that's the beer review. Mighty Squirrel Brewing Company, Double Cloud Candy. Thank you, Brendan, to my cousin for sending me this beer. Also, if you came across this video and you liked what you saw, I drop a beer review every Friday. It's called New England Brew With You, and we're just trying to find the best beers here in New England. Also on my channel on weekends, I go to brewery vlogs. I'll go visit a brewery, interview the owner, give you the full experience of that brewery, give you a tour, try some beers, really dig into what that brewery has to offer and kind of show you the atmosphere. Also, I have an Instagram, it's Connecticut underscore vlogs, and on there I do more than just New England beers, I do other beers throughout the country. I'll post uh, videos and do live reviews on other beers. Also on my stories, I mentioned where I'm gonna go for a vlog, so if you wanna catch me out at a brewery and be a part of the vlog and have a beer with me, you're more than welcome. And if you follow my Instagram and you're subscribed to my YouTube channel, you're automatically entered into all my future giveaways. So yeah. Anyways, this was the episode. I'll see you for the next one. Peace.